In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can work with presets and also create your own inside of HDR Expose 3 and 32 Float version 3. In fact, the presets are actually shared between both products, so if you have them both running on the same computer, you can view the same presets inside of 32 Float and HDR Expose. Presets are also used during the batch process, which we've covered in a separate tutorial. The first type of preset that I want to talk about are the feature presets. And that's what you'll see here in your operations panel with this little gear icon. If I were to go in now and change the black point to a different value, and I like that effect and thought I wanted to use that on multiple images, I can click on the gear icon and say add preset. I'll call this 25 black. And I'll add this to the list. So the next time I want to use that, I can just come in and pull it off the list. This is a nice little shortcut that you can use. All of the controls where you can create a feature preset have this little gear icon next to them. The thumbnails that you see at the bottom of the screen are your global presets. We'll use this as a starting point and then make some changes and create a new global preset. If I look at this image, I'll click on the Tone Map plus Midtones option. This brightens up the midtones in this scene. I like this setting, but I want a little bit more contrast. So I could increase my contrast slider, and I'll also increase the detail amount. Now if this is a change that I think I'm going to use for other images, I'll just click on the plus sign down here to add a preset. Here I can choose which components I want to have saved in the preset. I'll just leave them all on for now. Let's just call this tutorial. And say save. Now you can see my tutorial preset shows up down on the preset bar. If I go to another preset to change this, let's see what black and white looks like. And I want to come back and apply my tutorial preset. I simply click on it, and all of those settings that I saved are now applied to this image. You can create as many custom presets as you'd like, and you can also share them between computers. Let's go up into the Preferences setting and see how you can manage your presets. Go up to Preferences and click on the Presets tab. Here you can see all of my global presets. Here's that tutorial one that I just created. If I click on this tab, you'll see all of the feature presets that I've created. If you want to export the presets, you can click on the Export button. Then save the file and copy it to another computer or give it to a friend. On the other side, you can click on the Import Presets button select that file, and then those presets are automatically added to your application. If for some reason you want to go back to the original presets that we provided, you can click on the reset button here. This is the one with the two arrows. And that'll reset them to the original settings. Another option that you have with presets is to change the default preset that is used to tone map the image when it's displayed in the software. We'll do that in the general panel. So if I really like that tutorial preset that I created, I can select that to be my new default preset when I open up the images. But for now, let's just leave it at the default linear preset. Creating customized presets is a very powerful feature inside of HDR Expose 3 and 32 Float version 3. And now you see how easy it is to create new presets on your own. Thanks for watching.